This is the newly launched 8.9 inch portable wireless CarPlay and Android Auto screen known as the CP89 HD by the brand known as Minix. And in this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at this device in order for you to make an informed purchase decision. In terms of highlights, this extremely well-built device comes with a buttery smooth 60 FPS IPS display panel with a wide viewing angle of 170 degrees. Of course, this does support both wireless Apple CarPlay as well as wireless Android Auto functionalities with a surprisingly low auto reconnection time and the Minix CP89 HD has a really wide compatibility with over 800 vehicle models which also has a super fast boot up time. So go on and like and share this video with your family and friends. Do hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well if you enjoy watching these sort of videos and let's finally get on with today's video. As always, let's first quickly have a look at its box and all of its components. The Minix CP89 HD comes in this black colored rectangular box with a glossy picture of the unit right at the front which does look really good and sleek. Company branding and the model name can be found on most of the sites, portable wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. And honestly speaking, I would really love to see this thing live up to its claim of a truly high definition touchscreen. Fingers crossed, not much of anything on the sides of the box. Moving towards the rear, we get the entire spec sheet along with the layout of all of the ports and the buttons of this device. By the way, this device is also compatible with a 1080p or full HD rear camera, but you will have to buy that separately as it isn't included in this packaging. Speaking of which, the box itself seems to be made up of high quality material and it does raise my expectations quite a bit when it comes to the actual device inside of it. In the box, we get a high quality 1.5 meters long braided 3.5 mm aux cable, a car charger with a spare USB A port at the rear along with an on off switch which should come in very handy, a magnetic connector that would attach to the rear of the screen. This thing has a soft padded material on the inside to avoid getting any scratches behind the unit. Then we get two mounting options, one of which is this small central control bracket with a spare sticker. I will shortly demonstrate how everything connects here by the way. And finally, we also get this bigger mount mounting option which is a suction cup arm that can be extended as well. Ideally this should be the go to option for most people as it not only allows us to adjust the reach of the screen but also because it has a wider suction surface area that should comparatively provide a better hold of the unit. You can also use this provided attachment on either the car's front windshield or you can even stick it to any flat surface as well, even on your car's dashboard and then mount this arm bracket on top of it. So we do get quite a few options here which is nice. And of course, we get the main device, which is the Minix CP89 HD. As with all of the accessories and attachments we've seen so far, the build quality of this device as well is top notch. Very high quality materials have been used on everything and this device feels really solid and sturdy. The build quality is just fantastic. Everything including the finishing of the product, the paint job as well as the screen look and feel really good. Starting from the rear, the area in the middle is where the magnetic connector would attach. We do get a physical on off button which is always welcome. This can be used to even toggle the screen on or off or simply to just restart the device. We get all of the remaining ports on the other side of it for easy access starting with the USB type C power input port, the aux port, a port for a separately sold full HD rear camera, its built in microphone and Last but not least, a USB Type-C firmware upgrade port. We get several ventilation holes on the bottom and at the top. However, at the top, we also get the ambient light sensor which would automatically dim or lower the screen brightness in low light areas or during night hours or even if you place your hand on top of it. For size reference, here's the device compared to my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And in terms of weight of the unit, the Minix CP89 HD weighs around the same as both my phone and my car keys put together. Let's now power up this thing using a simple wall adapter and take a look at its menu and other options. I guess the brand wasn't kidding around when they said this thing has a fast boot up time. The boot up time doesn't really exist here does it? It's super fast and I'm really impressed so far. Looking at the main menu, we get status indicators on the top corner, the current time and then a couple of icons for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which we will take a look at in a bit. And as for all of these remaining icons, no matter which one you touch, we will always end up in the same menu but of course in their respective different tabs. Awesome, now that the screen is up and running, let's first check out the display brightness and turn it all the way up. Let's head over to the display settings and now slide everything here to the max option which is 100. 
Wow, the screen touch response is highly accurate and there isn't any lag whatsoever. Really nice. The 60 FPS here on the screen does make a lot of difference for sure. And this IPS display panel does look really really good too. You can also enable and configure the nice shift timings here if that is something you're looking for. Let's quickly test the light sensor here at the top and see if it actually works. Wow, very responsive, really cool and extremely useful for low light driving conditions obviously so as to avoid getting blinded with the 700 nits of peak brightness we get in this device. We also get a few wallpaper options here which is nice. There's also a right hand drive option here which is exactly what I need as that's what we have here in my country. Though I'm not too sure who would want to disable the 60 fps option in this thing but hey there is an option here if you need it. Let's check out the remaining settings now which are quite normal like the choice of language, date and time settings, bluetooth to connect to different devices, sound settings. Let's turn the volume up to the max. By the way, this device does have its own built-in 1 watt speaker as well. So we don't really need to pair it to the car's sound system but obviously there will be a substantial difference in the quality of the two. Oh and of course, pressing the off button at the rear, we get a total of three options. First one to toggle the screen off, simply touch the screen to wake it up. Second option to switch off the device and the last one to restart it which once again is super quick. Before we move over to my car, the Kia Sonnet, let's check out the mounting options we get. As informed earlier, we get a total of two mounting options with the Minix CP89HT, a smaller option and a bigger customizable option. You can use either mounts as per your choice. And I'm really happy to inform that the magnetic force on this connector is absolutely fantastic. We get a super strong magnetic connector with this device which would ensure that the screen does not even accidentally fall off the mount in the event of sudden jerks or bumps on the road. Really impressed with this connector as well. Both the mounts would connect to the provided magnetic connector and you can place either the mounts in your car however you like. And now let's head over to my car, the Kia Sonnet and test out all the remaining functions we get in the Minix CP89 HD. As informed earlier, we do get the option to pair our mobile device to connect to either wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay. For the sake of presentation, I'll now connect my Samsung S24 Ultra. In order to connect, all we need to do is enable the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the phone and pair the phone to the device. And just like that, we now have wireless Android Auto connectivity with the all-time familiar looking menu here. All of the apps here function exactly like the wired counterpart with latency at a minimum as per my testing. Be it calling anyone or receiving anyone's yeah, phone calls, playing some music or even navigating to any destination. Everything works seamlessly. Let's see how fast Android Auto reconnects after I restart my car. Amazing guys, this is super quick. It took just under 14 seconds only to start the device and then automatically reconnect to the last used option which in this case was Android Auto. Very nice. Let's test Apple CarPlay now and see how that holds up. I'll be using my iPhone SE to test wireless Apple CarPlay connectivity. Once again, simply enable the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the phone and pair the phone to the device. And surely here as well, we now have Apple CarPlay connectivity on the screen. All of the apps function exactly like the wired counterpart with latency at a minimum. Calling or receiving phone phone calls, playing music on Spotify yes, or even navigating to any destination, everything works great. Let's see how fast Apple CarPlay connects after I restart my car. Amazing guys, it is super fast even with Apple CarPlay. Just under 14 seconds once again. This Minix CP89 HD is by far the fastest auto connect device that I have come across when it comes to both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Really impressed with the device and the mount holds up pretty well too, even after all this testing. Moving along, we get a total of 4 sound output options when using the Minix CP89 HD which makes this thing quite versatile. I'm guessing that the go-to option for majority of the people would be to use the Bluetooth option in which all we need to do here is to pair the device to the car's Bluetooth audio. The second option would be to use the FM transmitter option wherein all you need to do is pick any free or unassigned radio frequency of your choice and match that frequency to your car's FM radio and the audio would start working immediately. Yeah. 
We do get the option to use the device's own built-in speaker as well, making it possible to use it as a standalone device. And finally, since my car does not have a 3.5mm aux port, I would not be able to showcase the final option in my car, but it does work just the same if we connect the device to any portable speaker like this one. All in all, I think the CP89 HD by Minix is a fantastic device. It offers exceptional quality in terms of sturdy design, build material, the super smooth 60fps high definition IPS display panel, its ease of use, its form factor, making it real easy for anyone to simply disconnect the USB cable before stepping out of the vehicle and store it in a bag. And also that we have the option to use this device anywhere and not just in our vehicles. Obviously this sort of a device is made for older car models which do not have any infotainment units to begin with but it can still be used in any new car model as well. At the time this video is being recorded, the Minix CP89 HD is available for pre-order with a 10% discount. In my opinion, if you are in search of a portable CarPlay Android Auto screen for your vehicle, then this is the go-to option. I do feel that there should have been a front camera option provided here as well and not just the rear camera option as that would have attracted a lot more customers without a doubt. What do you think about this device? Is it worth buying? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you have any doubts regarding this, then simply leave your queries down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye.